Hello guys and welcome to this new episode of Work With Me Wednesday. I am so excited today to show you guys how to create your own Instagram highlights. So the first thing you need to do is go to canva.com and log in. If you don't have an account, you can create one completely free. Um, after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click use custom dimensions. Now, if you're creating this using the Canva app on your cell phone, all you have to do is go to this top line and click your story, which is the dimensions that you need in order to do this. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and use custom dimensions. So you're gonna click that, and you need 1080 by 1920, and then you're gonna click design. Alrighty. Now, as this loads up, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of backgrounds that you can use. There are a couple things you can do here. If you want to, you can do an orange color, green, you could do white, you could even use some of these uh, designs down here that are all completely free to use. Now, I personally don't like using any of the designs. I prefer to use photos. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a photo today. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Let's just play with it. Let's see. There we go. I'm gonna bring that over a little tiny bit. Awesome. After that, if you want to, there are a couple filters here that you can use. You can use the pre made ones like normal Cali, Drama, Edge, or Epic. I personally like to use advanced options. And I'll tint it over to pink, which is my brand. And you can even get a little bit more creative and blur it if you want. You could add some brightness if you wanted. Uh, any of these available options. After that, go ahead and close filter. I also like to turn down the transparency just a little bit so it's not quite as obvious. After that, you're gonna click up here and hit elements. You're gonna hit shapes. And we're gonna scroll down. Now the standard one that people use is this two colored circle, but you can use any of these. Get creative, play around, figure out what you like the most, but this is the one that people generally will go for. So all you have to do is click that, and then you're gonna come up here and play it with the colors. I'm gonna turn that one over to that. And then this one we're gonna make black. There we go, perfect, that looks good. All right, after that, you're gonna go ahead and go to text and click add a heading. Now with this, you can make um, it any different sort of text if you want, it doesn't have to be this original heading. So you can go up here and change it, you can change the size, you can change the colors. After that all loads up, yeah, you can change the colors and all of that in here. Uh, I am going to keep it centered, and we're just gonna do photo shoot life as an example today. So if you just wanna use text in there, you can do that. In the case that you don't wanna do that, you also have the option of adding illustrations. You can also use free photos which will also bring up illustrations. So go over here, just click up here. And let's say you wanna do, so photo shoot life, you wanna do get camera for this. And it's under illustrations right now, which is what we want. And many of these are completely free. Some you do have to pay for, but you have the option of creating all of these completely free. So let's just grab this one. There we go. And then we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. This down. Right, so let's say we wanted to do that. There we go. And then I'll make this smaller. Let's say we want it like 28. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Okay, so you could do something like that. Um, if you wanted to just have the illustration and you didn't want your, your text in there, you can do that as well. There we go. And get something along the lines of this. So that is how you would generally create your own Canva Instagram highlights. Now, in the case that you want to, you can also narrow down this um, the circle. You could resize it. 
I generally like to keep mine at about like the 860 area. Um, there is no specific reason for it aside from it's just what I prefer. But it is not necessary as you can definitely go in on Instagram when you're creating the highlights, you are able to resize the circle. So it isn't necessary for you to change it around unless you want to. I personally just like how it looks, having it a bit smaller. Um, but that is how you create your own Instagram highlights. I hope that you guys absolutely loved this video. If you did, please make sure that you follow me on IGTV, Instagram, and Facebook. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys next Wednesday for another episode of Work With Me Wednesday.